Hey guys, I'm here in downtown Las Vegas and obviously I'm sitting on something. This is one of the more interesting gadgets that's at CES this year. It's Lit Motors Kubo scooter and from Lit Motors is Chief Marketing Officer Ryan James. I want to just get right into this because this is obviously very different from your typical scooter. What is this whole thing for? That is the cargo area. So it's basically like a pickup truck on two wheels. Uh, you've got a space that's actually purpose-built to carry cargo. Unlike other scooters where you end up with uh, accessories that are kind of high, kind of towards the back, this one, it's centered on the vehicle, it's down low, you've got a really low center of gravity, so it's still, you know, even when it's all loaded up, it's still really easy to maneuver. Now, because of that unique shape, I'd imagine there are some things that are different here than for people who are used to driving a regular scooter or a motorcycle. There's some marked differences here. First of all, just when I'm sitting here, I notice that you know, you kind of go like this to, to turn it. What, what else is the drive experience here like that is good to keep in mind? The drive experience actually ends up being really intuitive and really natural. The steering obviously looks quite a bit different. Uh -huh. Unlike a normal scooter, you know, you're not like right over the fork. So the fork comes up, there's a linkage, two uh, rods come back, there's another linkage here, and then you've got the steering. Uh, and so, yeah, as you were showing, like, steering moves around like that. Uh, which seems kind of weird, uh, but it's actually not all that weird to use. And uh, of course, as you're really driving around like at speed, you're not moving it like that. You're moving it just a teeny tiny bit. Okay. Uh, and, you know, leaning like with every other two-wheel vehicle. Gotcha. And give me some numbers here. You, how much cargo can I carry on this? What can I really use this for? Uh, about 300 pounds uh, between the cargo and the rider. Um, and that's to maintain like normal operating specs. You could probably push that to like 400 or so before you'd start to really, you know, slow down considerably. Okay. It'll go about 45 miles an hour and about 50 miles per charge. So it's like the perfect around town kind of vehicle. Gotcha. And this is electric, so it's quiet, right? Totally can electric, we, yeah. Can we turn it on and see how that works? Yeah. So that's it. It's now on. Yeah, it's there's live. no vroom vroom that right. you have with like a Harley or even like a Vespa. Yeah. Um, and then we can beep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Also, you guys had a Kickstarter for this. We did. Uh, but I know you didn't quite meet your goal. What, what is the plan now to get this funded and get this on the streets? How can people eventually buy one of these? Uh, so the plan remains largely the same. It's just, you know, potentially shifted back a couple of months. We're still going to raise some money for this, continue to develop it towards production, ideally begin production uh, this coming summer. Very cool. And how much money will this cost? Uh, about 6000 Okay. Yeah, that's about in line with, I guess, your average scooter, but it's electric and super nifty. Well, thank you, Ryan, for showing us the Kubo and, and have fun here in Vegas. Definitely.